Hello, and my name is Matthew McCarthy Arnone. Um, I am a master's. Uh, I have a master's in project management from DeVry University that I received in 2012. Uh, I do have a associate degree in computer uh, network security and computer forensics um, that I received in 2007. Uh, I believe that through my geek history and also my education that I am a very good candidate for Nirvana and King of the Nerds because I love everything Star Wars. I love everything sci-fi. Um, it's kind of hard living with a Trekkie, but we cope and we also uh, have very deep conversations in how first we come to, um, you know, my mom has almost every little thing you can think of, of Deep Space Nine, Voyager, uh, you know, every Star Trek you can think of, back to William Shatner days. Um, me, personally, I am a Star Wars freak. Well, not a freak, I guess you could say that I love the history of it. I just don't, I'm not religious about it. But, uh, you know, the new series was, in my viewpoint, better than the old series, being that I was born in 86, and not born in when it first came out in 1981. Um, I'm also a huge techie. Uh, computers is my passion. Anything to do with computers, I believe that I, you know, I can mostly fix anything as long as uh, I get a chance to put, get my hands on it. Um, let me show you a little bit about how what I feel is why I am a geek, why I, I love who I am and know who I am in that, in that instance that, you know, you, you got to understand that people are going to make fun of you because you're different. And the more you understand where you are and who you are, the more people will accept what you are. Um, let me start out with over here. Uh, I have a, a few, uh, posters. Honestly, there's a lot of posters in my room right now that you will see, um, first is the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood one that is, like, a very rare, uh, one of mine. It, uh, I got it through GameStop, because I, right now I live in Butler, PA, which is about 35, 40 minutes from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And, uh, it was, the big thing about it was that it was signed, and Assassin's Creed is not the biggest game in my collection, I mean, as you can see right now, I have uh, Battle All Stars, Battle Royale, Little Big Planet Carding, Lego Batman, DC Superheroes, Lego Harry Potter Years Seven, Five through Seven, Killzone Trilogy, and the uh, God of War Saga, which has all five games in it, which I have not played yet. So that is why I'm venturing into. Um, the, you know, the PlayStation 3 kind of thing. I cannot wait, cannot wait for PlayStation 4. Uh, 720, as as they have said throughout the the years, better bring something big to the table because PlayStation 4 is going to te tear them alive. But um, moving on from this, uh, as you see the opportunity one, let the dreams of today determine the opportunities for tomorrow. Next one down is a poster called Con contemplation if tomorrow if today was perfect there'd be no need for tomorrow i actually love that saying because no day is the same and we have to wake up and start all over and deal with more anguish deal with more laughter deal with more tears so let it happen next over here we have assassin's Creed revelation soul caliber 5 legend of zelda ocarina of time the Elder Scrolls V uh, Skyrim, which I, I dived into, but if you have the time to play the game, I mean, I've heard some of my friends that are spending 130 hours online, and with all the, the I think it's now four or five expansions, it's amazing what Bethesda can do to a game once they make it. So, I mean, I'm, I'm blown away by how game designers spend anywhere between 60 to 90 hours a week which is physically impossible 
to actually make the best game for people to buy. Next, on my door here, uh, as you can see, this is my small little room. Uh, it is a mess. Um, you know, being a geek, working, I work at Sheets Incorporated right now in Cranberry Township. And in the process of that, trying to find that profile job, which the economy is the way it is. We deal with what we can. Um, just got off a 10-hour shift. So, I mean, this is what I look like and... You know, you have to mostly go with what you can get. <laughs> so, next we will work on, uh, this, the, the uh, time poster on the next side was, it was a two-sided poster. I love this poster. It's one of my favorite posters I have. One, because I got some, you know, the midnight launch was amazing. Um, this was the third story in the, the, the Soap McTavish and Captain Price of, you know, uh, Activision's Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And I still say to this day, anyone that can live from a stab wound is is God in my viewpoint. Next, we come down to Disney's Tron Legacy. Um, one of the best movies I've ever owned. I love that movie to, to no extent. Um, because it mostly wants, you know, my geek in me is going, I want to get into cyberspace. And, you know, knowing that, like, when I watched Tron in 1991 and seeing how it was in 1982, the color was wrong and Disney, you know, Disney took all that technology that is out there today, yet for some reason still Japan is set, uh, three years ahead of us, almost three times the where we're going to be in the next, you know, the United States is so far behind, but it's still a great movie no matter what. Next, we come up to Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Uh, Treyarch, I have, because I ha did use recently, um, was working at GameStop Incorporated. I was a senior game advisor there for uh, from 2007 to 2009. Loved that company. But working behind the scenes, you understand all the stuff that comes up through companies like Treyarch and Activision. They know what they're doing, but... Treyarch, when they made Call of Duty Black Ops, that was what saved them. Because <laughs> Activision, after they made War to War, War at War, it was a terrible game. Um, you know, they, they knew what they did. So honestly, I think that they just threw it away and made something that people, um, you know, made people not remember Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Next is Borderlands 2. 2K games and Gearbox software, loved them. Game is great. Uh... The only problem is that, like, it wasn't, you know, when I started out, I picked the wrong character. So, there you go. Um, next, because we're running out of time here, is you'll come down to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. This is actually a new poster that was just went out for pre-orders through Todd McFarlane, who was the creator of Spawn and also the brother of Seth McFarlane. Those two, if, I, if my last name was McFarlane, oh my god. Over here, uh, you this poster I am actually love. I love this game, Star Wars: The Old Republic. I was a Jedi Sith Lord. Oh man, was that an awesome game! Um, <laughs> when you come down to it, if I had the time to put in, because everyone needs money to actually play games, I would be not on this phone right now. But I will say that in this next uh, minute, that. I believe that I am a, the a quality member for the nerd culture because when I went to see the Avengers last last year, I was sitting in the, in in the row just like everyone else. Uh, you know, I loved the characters: Iron Man, Thor, Hulk. Uh, you know, all the the actors were great pickings, and then they showed Thanos at the very end, and I said Thanos right off the bat. And I had thousands of people saying to me, how do you know who that is? Even my best friend who is just moving into the into the comic book world is in love with it. So please think very hard on your decision. If I am not chosen, I will pack any nerd who goes out there and tries to put themselves in the public eye. Because being a nerd is a very hard thing to do. Thank you. 
very much for this video.